Giving up is one thing. Knowing when you've just had enough is another. On today's case, Mrs. Perry says she's been married to her husband for 50 years, and for her, it's the latter. She says Mr. Perry's penchant for unfulfilled promises, random disappearing acts, and his recent three-quarter life crisis, the purchase of a sports car, have her ready to sign the divorce papers and never look back. Can Mr. Perry stop his wife from throwing away five decades of love? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Perry versus Perry. Thank you very much, Mrs. Perry and Mr. Perry. Mrs. Perry, you have entered my courtroom today with divorce papers ready to be served, you said. You say that after 53 years together, you are ready to put an end to what you call an unhappy marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Perry, you say you are not ready to lose your wife and will prove to her that she will always be your number one girl. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you all need to understand something. On the souls of my grandparents, you're gonna have to do a whole heck of a lot to convince me that after 53 years together, 51 years married, this marriage is over, Mrs. Perry. Yes, Your Honor, it's over. Okay, so I wanna hear from you why we are in court, ma'am. We're in court today because after 51 years of being married to him, which today is our 51st anniversary. My Lord. And, and that's he all. is a messy person. He doesn't respond to anything that I ask him to do anymore. He leaves and I don't know where he is. It's just time to get this over with. Mrs. Perry, not only are you together 53 years, married 51 years, you and Mr. Perry are still living together. You have five children together. You have 13 grandchildren and 18 great-grandchildren. Mr. Perry, what say you? I say that after these 51, let's say 53 years, I'm not ready to call it quits. I, what, would, what would I do? I've been with her all my life. I only know her. I only love her. I, I don't want to lose her. Mrs. Perry, you heard what your husband said. You're gonna have to take me back to a time when uh, things were happy, like when you first met. I'd love to know a little bit about your background. Well, Judge, when we first met, it was really good. And we started out very young as being parents. He... You were very young. You, you were 16 when you met, right? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. In the 10th grade? Yes, Your Honor. And you got yourself to senior at the high school. Yes, Your Honor. Uh -huh. I was exactly. <laughs> okay. What attracted you to Mrs. Perry? Her sundress. What was going? What was going on oh, with the sundress? I, yeah, <laughs> it was. She was attractive, Your Honor. I mean, I I had known her, but I never really looked at her like I did this particular day. In other words, sunshine was all around that and sundress. And she had those legs greased. <laughs> 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 he said she had good. the legs green. Yeah, she now, got my attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Mrs. Perry. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. But I did a spin, and it was it was history. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was history. And so you all literally have been together your entire adult life. Yes, Your Honor. That's about true. We grew up together. Um, and so talk to me a little bit about what went wrong, because we know what started off was beautiful. What went wrong? Well, he's, he's, I think he's fallen in love with his car. His car? Yes. He's got this Camaro convertible car, and he's spending more time with the car than he is with me. He's always gone, giving me excuses. Oh, look at this. Why he's gone. He got a player player car, doesn't he? Yes. I no. call it a, a woman magnet. Uh, no, it's not. Uh huh. She well, enjoying uh, it also, Your Honor. Well, well, first of all, Mrs. Perry, why don't you want to be in that car? It's, it's too low to the ground. I suffer with terrible back pain. Yes, ma'am. And I told him that this is not going to last. You know, I can't be getting in and out of this car. It's very difficult for me to do. And Mr. Perry, do you try to assist your wife to get in and out of your brand new car? Yes. It, it, it's no. my car. It's my dream car. No. You know, I, I tried to get one at 19 years old, the same thing, a Camaro. But I was able to 
get the money, but I couldn't afford the insurance okay. at 19. So I had a chance to get it, and it's my dream car. So, Mrs. Perry, I mean, I'm, I, you've heard of a midlife crisis, midlife Chrysler. This is a midlife Camaro. Yes, sure. Mm. So, yes, it is. But, but what is the problem with the car? He's gone with the car all the time. Where is he going? He never tells me where he's gone. When he comes back with his one Coca-Cola in the hand, he said he was at the store. Um, and is this something that happens regularly? The... Regularly. So, Mr. Perry, where do you go when you are driving around on the, with the Camaro? To the store or out shooting pool. I okay. love to shoot pool. And that's basically where I'm at. Well, that's his excuse. I think he just wants to get out to be seen in his Camaro. No. But, Mrs. Perry, what's wrong with him want to be seen in the Camaro? I really want to get to the core of this. Why don't you want him to be seen in the Camaro? Because the way he acts about when he's around with that car. She's concerned just, that he's, I'm He's a totally different women. person. She's my girl. Mrs. Perry, He doesn't again, treat me like his girl, Jeff. Uh-oh, now that's what we <laughs> need to get into. What do you say is missing in your relationship since he got this car? Everything, Your Honor. What Everything. You, what would you like? I would like for him to maybe spend some more quality time with me and I own a Kia and maybe we can travel in that other than traveling in his Camaro. If we're gonna travel, I think, wouldn't you rather travel in a Camaro? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I, Mrs. Perry, would be feeling like the queen Thank you. if my king is driving me around in the convertible Camaro. I'd rather drive the Camaro. Okay? <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something, Miss Perry. You need to put your sunglasses on and one of them breakfast at Tiffany scarves <laughs> like Audrey Hepburn and get in the front seat of that Camaro and let the little hoochie see. Because <laughs> if they can beat you rocking, they can take your chair since you done had him for 53 years. Your Honor. No, Your Honor. That, I found that's out. not me. That's not me. He knew that wasn't me when he went and purchased the car. He promised a 50th anniversary trip. That would have been last year. Yes. We did not go anywhere, Judge. Can we go to commercial? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in divorce court. We're getting a divorce. You don't need a commercial for that. She drives it just as much as I do with the top. Have you ever tried to drive it? I've drove it a couple of times. Oh. When he insists that I drive it, why don't you drive the car? You don't enjoy honor. it? No, I do not. So, are you making the determination, ma'am, that you don't want to drive the car simply because he's obsessed with the car? Yes, he is obsessed with his car. Well, but that's not why I want to divorce him. They are a number of things. That well, I would do. like to hear some other things because I cannot imagine a, a breaking up a relationship of 50 years over uh, a car that he is going to the store to get a Coca-Cola for. Well, let's start that he's messy, Judge. Yes, ma'am. He promises things that he never come through with. So what do you mean he's messy? He's... <laughs> his room, I call it a jungle. He's very into electronics. He play on a PlayStation. Our grandkids play on a PlayStation. We he play plays together. on a PlayStation. He has a computer. He has two laptops that he's operating at the same time. Has he been messy the entire marriage? Not like he is today. I had to kick him out of our bedroom, give him the extra bedroom because of the way he keeps things going. She calls it slob. It hurts my feelings. He is a slob. Mrs. Perry, what is it that you would want Mr. Perry to do to make you feel like this is a marriage I could stay in? I'd love to hear that from you. I would like calm, and I would like to be happy. Right now, I am not happy. And you know, Your Honor, can yes, I say something? Yes, please? sir. When, when we first got married, we, we took trips two, three times a year. Now, she doesn't want to go anywhere. And I'm like, come on, let's enjoy life while we can. You know, tomorrow's not promised to us. Let's have fun. Last year we were, what, we went to New Orleans twice, Jacksonville, uh, North Carolina a couple of times, Myrtle Beach. This year we've gone nowhere. What's going on, Mrs. Perry? I'm too 
constricted. Mm -hmm. I'm too suspicious. I don't like to be in a car very long. Mm -hmm. And I can't stand very long. And the walking is, it's just, so if I go out, I'm still just stuck in a hotel room or at someone's house. And I'm beyond that now. All she has to do, Your Honor, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride and the music. He promised a 50th anniversary trip. That would have been last year. Yes, and we did not go anywhere, Judge. Went to Jacksonville. We did not go anywhere. Went to Jacksonville. That was not an anniversary trip. He likes jazz. He went down there to listen to jazz, and it was yeah. awful. So, in other words, he didn't plan anything for you? No. Mr. Perry, what happened? Why didn't you plan something for her? Can we go to commercial? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> no, we're in divorce court. We get a divorce. You don't need a commercial for that. Mr. Perry, why didn't you plan something? The kids had planned to do something for us, but she did not want to do it. Now, am I right or wrong? You're so wrong. They did not try to do something for us. No, but this, this I'm your anniversary. Okay. It's for us. Not the kids. Mr. Perry, did you hear exactly what she said? Yes, I did. And in all honesty, she right. Mrs. Perry wants you to put her as a priority the same way. Mrs. Perry, am I correct? Yes, you are. And he goes missing, Judge. I don't know where he is. I call his phone. It goes straight to voicemail. And he'll look and say, you call me? I don't, I don't see where you call me. I, What's my, that about, Mr. Perry? I have a cheap phone. And if she texts me, I don't get an alert. If I do, I can't hear it. How about you set an alarm that when you're going to be away for more than two, three hours, that you just call your wife and check in. Hey, babe, how you doing? Just want you to know I'm over at the spot, still with, with Larry and the guys. Um, well, you want to say hi to them? She going to say no. But the point is, <laughs> you just want to be courteous but, enough to let her know but that you OK. Tuesdays and Thursday night, she know where I'm at. No, excuse me. OK. Just because she may know where you are, doesn't mean she doesn't want you to at least acknowledge where she is. Okay. That's your wife. Our daughter has called in, Your Honor. Okay, Miss Perry, please tell me what is your opinion on your parents' marriage, since I know that you have lived through them both complaining to you in your ear. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mrs. Perry needs you to meet some of her core needs. Emotional, physical, spiritual, social, Security needs. Those are the core needs of every marriage. Social. She needs you to go out with her and do some stuff she likes to do. Miss Perry, what you like to do? Nothing. <laughs> Our daughter has called in, Your Honor. I guess she wants to talk to you. About... Really? She would like to testify? I absolutely. And I would like I would like to hear from her. Miss Perry, are you available to chat? Yes. Okay, Miss Perry, please tell me. Um, what is your opinion on your parents' marriage? Since I know that you have lived through them both complaining to you in your ear. <laughs> I think it's crazy that one got my daddy in court. I mean, growing up, they were like the cool parents in the neighborhood. And, you know, they're the king and queen of our family. And we don't want to see them, you know, break up or anything. But they have been bickering back and forth lately. Now, now, Ms. Perry, I can tell you for certain that um, there is no way in the world I'm going to allow a couple who's been together this long with five children, 13 grandchildren, and 18 grandchildren, great-grandchildren not to be able to figure out what is going on. So you're going to have to help me. Okay. Why, why do you think that they are in divorce court on their anniversary and what can I do to help them communicate better? I, I just think mom need to loosen up a little bit with daddy. You know, 
she do like to shoot his little pool and stuff like that. She just need to loosen up, give him a little space and stuff. But daddy need to be more understanding with my needs and too. Like, you know, they go out to eat. He don't like to go out to eat. He won't bring the food home, but she wants to go out. Uh, like, stuff like that. They just need to compromise with each other. I assume you are speaking on behalf of your sisters and brothers and children yeah. and nieces and nephews and and are saying that they don't, you don't want them to break up. Am I correct? No, I don't. Like, where in the heck would y'all go for Thanksgiving with all them people <laughs> if they break up? We can still go to family <laughs> meetings and everything. It's, he would still be the same. Um, he disappears. You know, he's never, like, there with the family. He's there, but he's not with us. We're going to uh. discuss what Mr. Perry is going to need to do to make some changes. Ms. Perry, thank you so very much for your time today. I appreciate right, it. Welcome. Bye, T.D. Bye, Mom and Dad. If, if she was to leave, I'd probably be calling her five, ten times a day anyway. On your way to go get them Coca-Colas. Yeah, <laughs> because, you know, even if I need a pair of pants, I'd have to call and ask her what size I wear because she is, she's been my everything. Mrs. Perry, I think you need to get back to the romance. I'm sorry, don't give me that look. <laughs> I think you need a date night. And Mr. Perry, because you don't like to plan nothing, I'm planning it for you. Happy anniversary, y'all. Y'all are going on a date night. You are going to buy yourself a pretty dress, and Mr. Perry, you're going to take her to the nicest restaurant and you're not doing any takeout and you're not driving the Camaro. Okay. You're going to drive the Kia because that's what she want to be in. And if she likes flowers, you're going to get her some flowers. You're going to do that because she's important to you. And I'm going to pay for it as an anniversary present, but then you're going to do a date night every week because you owe her for those 50 years. Otherwise, I'm going to ask for those divorce papers. Oh, I do it then. Every single Wednesday. That belongs to Mrs. Perry. Every single Wednesday. And it's starting this week. I want a date night. And I want some pictures. And I want Mrs. Perry to tell me what she did or I'm going to hold you in contempt of court because you're not going to not make her a priority in action when you are just saying she's your priority. We're going to make sure she's your priority. And, Mrs. Perry, you're going to lighten up a minute, just like your daughter T.D. said, because I am convinced this man would be lost without you. Robert, get those divorce papers and hand them to me, please. Gladly. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Perry, I'm holding these divorce papers in my hand. Your name is on them. I will keep them in my file. The day you tell me you want them served is the day we will serve them. Okay. She know I can't live without them. Mr. Perry? Yes, ma'am. Then you better start proving it. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. you. Yes, and I want to be divorced. Right. And, well, I'm going to give you a try. I'll let you try. But I got a feeling we're going to... I'm going to get those papers. I know. You think I know. so? I know. Want to pay bet? No, I don't want to bet you. Yeah. I don't want to bet you. Because you know how you can be. I, how could I ever look anybody in the face if I broke up a couple for 53 years of together? I'll tell you what, the fans would be upset at you. Listen, there's no better flex than a nice sports car, but there's a better flex is walking around with your queen. I love that. That's beautiful. Made in Georgia.